So I got some leads from my guy uh, who works for and um, yeah, I, I basically convinced the guy to give me uh, the list of uh, his of his route. So I have the phone number, I got the the name, the address uh, of these uh, customers. So basically, I just basically call them up um, and I tell them, you know, hey, I uh, I was one of the guys, one of the technicians um, that you know treated your yard in the past, and um, I just want to come out. I'm doing a consultation. Um, I actually started my own uh, program, uh, turf program, and uh, it's an alternative program, of course, that I can offer that you know can solve some of the problems that you've been having with <laughs> that they haven't been able to fix. So those that are actually like have been having problems and they're like, okay, I'm not getting results, they'll actually give your boy a shot. So I'm headed to one of those customers' houses right now. I sent them a link. Uh, for him to uh, do a consultation, so I got even more information, like email and all that stuff. And so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we have an appointment. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up, and uh, I'm gonna vlog this whole thing, and basically I'm gonna take you through the whole process of how I uh, meet myself, introduce my my program, uh, educate them about their yard, and hopefully close on it. So, ah, uh, let's go. Hopefully I get this. Uh, sent you the text message let you know I'll be in the area yeah, so yeah. I'll stop by and take a look at the yard okay. I see where the magnolia you got a lot of tree competition and compaction and it needs an aeration really mm-hmm was last time you had to aerate it we aerated it um, last year yeah they, they're, it's recommended to do it at least once a year because it's clay when it get wet man it just this right here is Kalinga or nut sedge Yeah, yeah, this stuff will get real aggressive, and especially because it'll be heating up right now. This is a Kalinga. But yeah, this is so this you've been dealing with this for a while. I noticed this last time I was here a little while ago. It hasn't filled in. Yeah, I put soil in there. I'm no, well, you put some topsoil? Yeah, top yeah. It's you see how it's reddish like this. So basically clay it um Clay pretty much has a lot of iron in it, so when it when it gets, of course, with the water, it oxidizes. That's why you get that reddish color. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it could use some, definitely use some uh, some aeration. I can tell just by looking at it. And usually, if you take a if you take something like a uh, a screwdriver and you push it in there, if you're struggling to get it in there, that's com that's because of the compaction. Uh -huh. Let me grab something real quick. See if I can push through it. It's been like this since I've been with uh, Unlimited. And, yeah, uh, they don't. I've been with Unlimited, I've been with Turf Master. Oh, Do with... I need to cut these magnolia trees out? You can prune them. No, they, they should be okay. It's not really that, they're not that big. Um, I don't know what kind of variety this is, but how, have they been here since you got the house? They were here before I moved here, and I've been here. Yeah, I've so, been here about 15 years. Yeah, so they're not gonna really grow much bigger than this, because you know, some magnolias get huge. huge right. So you still you still have sunlight. So this is this is Bermuda, I believe. It is. And Bermuda is, of course, it loves it loves full sun. So it, it, you know because of the fact so that. So if I cut that back, what three feet? Yeah, three about three feet. Yeah. Three feet. I can save the magnolias and still have a pretty yard. Yeah, you can still have a pretty yard. But you got compet. So here's a, it's a couple of things that that take place. It's it's the competition between the the tree and the lawn when it comes to the access of the nutrients in the soil right. and um, and also water as well. It's, it's always the soil compaction. Have they ever done the soil test? No. That's another reason why no. I created the program. I don't, they, they put down product. They don't know what's in there. I no, sent- nobody's done a soil test. Yeah. What? That's the first thing you do when you start putting down anything on the line is you figure out what's the ni nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Those right. are macronutrients, which are the most uh, readily used by the plant, by the grass. And then you have the the uh, the micronutrients, magnesium, uh, or manganese, uh, boron, stuff like that. So because I was gonna buy me some organite and throw on here. Too. 
the problem is is that you want to encourage this to spread correct right that's so what, that's what i've been so trying in my program i also put down i top dress with when i do an aeration i put i come in i put some sand in there and top dress it mm -hmm. and the sand allows see uh bermuda spreads through what they call uh rhizomes and stolons rhizomes are the underground they're like underground parts of the the the, the, the grass that that go under and then they pop up and then the stolons are on the top mm -hmm. and they it pretty much crawl so sometimes when you see bermuda you can see them kind of trying to crawl see how this is mm -hmm. right but when, when you when and so when i put down some when i top dress it put down some sand it allows it to hold a little bit more moisture so that way they can root as they spread so that's what i would encourage with this so i would say definitely an aeration definitely top dress it uh get the soil samples uh to figure out exactly what's missing and one of the biggest things the reasons why you do a soil test is because it's something called ph potential hydrogen so it, it's on a scale from 1 to 14 1 being very acidic 14 being very alkaline and then seven in the middle is neutral uh, is neutral bermuda grass the different grass type they like a certain type of ph to uh, right and so when the ph is off you can have nitrogen plenty of nitrogen phosphorus potassium in the soil but it won't be available to the plant unless the ph is right mm -hmm. first of all these companies are so big they got like six thousand customers they can't only afford to spend 15 minutes so the technician walks out with the hose, they spray the yard real quick, hop in the truck and they leave. Yeah. I spend up to an hour with my program, up to an hour uh, for every uh, uh, every time I come out, I get stuff like this. You see that crabgrass growing in the cracks? Yeah, uh, I sprayed them. You, 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 you see this? You mm -hmm. see it dying? I sprayed it yesterday. You sprayed it? Okay. And, and I got a bum leg. So I heard that. <laughs> you know, I'm serious about that. What I, what, what I like to do though is when I see like mature weeds, rather than spraying it because I'm here for the hour, I'll just pull those things. Well, see, we've been pulling. Mm -hmm. My wife's been out here religiously pulling weeds out of the plow beard and all. Yeah, this is the front here. There's the back, that gate's open. You can walk back there. We got a drainage issue, as you can see. And my son, he did this. He went and bought some grass. He put, he put down a pipe here. But we still having issues trying to get it on round to the back side. Are you doing any drainage work? What? No, nah, that's not what I, I I've, I've done it before, but I, I just try to focus on the program. Right. And you got nut sedge in here. It's nut sedge. Let's see if it's purple nut sedge. Yeah, but two uh, <laughs> supposed to come and pray for it, but apparently what they did on it is not doing the job. Well, the tech, yeah, and they, so this is the way it works. They got 6,000 customers. They'll give the, the driver uh, about 40 stops to do, which, I mean, if it's a really tight route, you can get it done, but it doesn't really need, uh, leave much time to actually spot treat. So they have, what they'll do, they'll spray from the main tank. That's usually, uh, depending on the time of year, it might be like a pre-emergent, uh, but most cases a micronutrient fertilizer mix inside that tank, and they'll just do put that on but they won't come and actually put the post, post herbicides in there, the post emergence, which is for mature weeds like this. Mm -hmm. they, and they're not in it. So if you don't see him with a backpack on, come in and spray the whole thing. Well, he did that the last time he had to come out and they and, use uh, spray it with a backpack, but it's, they I mean, use, it was worse than this. This is, this yeah, is, yeah. this is remarkable compared to what it was. That's good. This is remarkable yeah, compared yeah. to what it was. Mm -hmm. Cause I, 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 I blew a scene you know, a few months ago when they came out, and I think uh -huh. they were selling back, so yeah. they're doing it not work. That's the issue. How much they charging you on a monthly? Uh, to spray this? Yeah. $59. See, they ain't really, they ain't, that's why they ain't really doing much. Yeah. And they come out probably, well, either, either every four every, or six weeks. Every four or six weeks. Yeah, and it's usually every six weeks unless you give them a call. Yeah. So that now that we usually have to call them within two weeks of them coming because they don't they can't do it. Right. And then I gotta call them back to go over what they were supposed to do at the beginning. Yeah. So I'll be upfront with you. So my, my program is is not necessarily for, I know everybody wants to be economical, but I, I, I where I've been winning at is just getting results. And um, the way I get those results is just doing the things that need to be done in order to get those results. And the full program for the whole year is $1,300.
How much they charging you on a monthly? Uh, to spray this? Yeah. $59. Because I was going to buy me some Morganite and throw on You see that crab grass growing in the cracks? So uh, I sprayed, look, you, you, you see this? Mm -hmm. I sprayed it yesterday. You sprayed it? Okay. And, and I got a bum leg. I heard that. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. my wife's been out here religiously pulling weeds out this whole yard. Plowed in and all. So that, and that. I usually have to call them within two weeks of them coming because they don't, they have to do it. Right. And then I got to call them back. Oh, yeah.